What's happening, everyone? Time for another malt review. We have a brand new Glenfiddich 12 special edition right here. This was just released. This is the Amontillado um, Sherry Cask Finish. Um, I believe Glenfiddich is doing a few different special releases. Um, this being the 12, uh, matured uh, in... Let's see, it says here, let's make sure I don't get it wrong. 12 years in American and European oak sherry casks before finishing in Amontillado casks. So the finishing, so it's aged both in American and sherry, and then it also finishes in the Amontillado casks to add this nice sherry depth. Um... The traditional regular 12 tends to be more on the bourbon matured side. Um, lots of vanilla and apple and pear really stand out on that one. Um, and we are expecting more of a sherry influence here. Bottled at 43%. Uh, and by me, this retails at $40. So not too bad. Um, the standard 12 retails around $35 by me. So an extra $5 for uh, the finishing here. All right, this has been breathing now for a good solid 15 minutes. Right away. You could definitely tell this is Glenfiddich, but kind of amped up with the sherry. Right away you get vanilla. You get red apples. Lots of dried fruits that you would expect from a sherry matured whiskey. A little bit of wood spice. A little bit of milk chocolate and some toffee. And this beautiful note of red berries. So definitely giving you a little bit more than the traditional 12 in terms of complexity, but not getting much more than that on the palate. Very easygoing mouthfeel. It's smooth, just like the Glenfiddich 12 is as well. It follows suit, vanilla right away, rich red apples, a little bit of those red berry fruits, a little toffee, um, and some of those sherry spices kind of coming through from those wood spices. It's very balanced, it's well integrated. It's definitely an entry level whiskey um, that's been kind of amped up a little bit with the sherry. So if you're into sherry uh, and you, you know, like the Glenfiddich 12, but you want to experience it with a little bit more sherry influence, then this is definitely something to grab, especially at $40. It's not an offensive price. Um, I do think that this is a little bit more complex than the standard um, 12. I think the mouth feel on this actually is a little bit better, a little bit more oily. Um, the finish is kind of short to medium, but it does linger a little bit. So that's why, you know, where the regular 12 is short, this one kind of adds a little bit more of a finish as well. It's pretty pleasant. One more sip. Yeah, I think the nose and palate align pretty well. Perhaps a little bit more fruity on the nose than on the palate, but you still get those fruits on the palate. It's a pleasant whiskey. Um, 
it's something that I certainly don't regret buying for $40. It's something that I think my guests are really, really going to enjoy. Is this the hardcore whiskey enthusiast's whiskey? Probably not. But will they enjoy it? I do think so. Uh, certainly, if you are um, a beginner to single malts or a fan of Glenfiddich in general, I definitely highly recommend grabbing this. In terms of a score, I'm going to be giving it an 81 out of 100. Subscribe if you haven't. We're going to be bringing you guys reviews every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday. Three reviews a week. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do subscribe and click the thumbs up. Let's us know that you're enjoying the reviews, and we'll see you soon for many more. Cheers.